In the Capitol, Democrats are calling for more opportunities for Wisconsinites. They're calling it the Economic Bill of Rights, and political reporter Will Keneally has more on just what those rights include. We're essentially looking here at a wish list of progressive policies, from things you'd expect like wages to the environment. The gist here being, if you fix the economic issues, the rest will follow. I think there's sometimes an assumption in black and brown and indigenous communities that if we aren't participating, oh, we must not care. But Milwaukee community organizer Angela Lang says it's not that. There are just too many barriers. If we want a safe, healthy, thriving community, and if we want a strong, robust democracy, that starts with economic security and freedom. Which is why Democrats today are rolling out an updated slate of priorities that they're calling an economic bill of rights. It's failed the last few times they've introduced it in the Republican legislature. But what's different now, they have a bargaining chip as Governor Evers negotiates the state budget with the GOP. So the budget is a reflection of the Economic Justice Bill of Rights. They work in tandem with one another and we thank the governor for his leadership. Now, the governor will have to work with Republicans in the legislature to refine the state budget, and we could see compromise on things like tax relief for Wisconsinites. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. We reached out to the Republican Assembly Leader's office for comment, but they did not get back to us.